Jackie Whitelaw here with ACO on Air with Lord Du Morley, who is Under Secretary of State for Natural Environment and Science at DEFRA. How do you do? Um, thank you very much for being here. We've heard a lot today about the value of the green economy to the country. Um, infrastructure has been pushing itself as a way of developing the economy. Is there more that the green industries can do and is there more that the political parties, or the Tory party particularly, can do to help? Represented here today, we have businesses that are worth 100, over 120 right. billion pounds mm. and employ uh, more than a million people. Right. Um, so uh, yes, we are c uh, very clear that this is a significant industry mm. um, and uh, we are doing work through UKTI and also right. with uh, visits by uh, ministers mm. uh, to countries such as China yes. um, to promote the work of uh, companies such as these. Yes. It's really important to the economy. Do you think that the country itself understands how valuable it is? Or does the um, industry need to sell itself a bit more? I think that the, there is a, an increasing awareness mm. uh, amongst the population of our country, the electorate indeed of, of our country, of the importance of mm. uh, industries like these. Um, and I think that's enhanced by work um, such as by RAP, uh, who right. are doing yes. brilliant work uh, on uh, alerting people to um, how they could reduce their food waste, mm. for example, uh, and increase their recycling rates, yes. those sort of household level problems. Yes. The other issue that's really um, exercising people's minds now is air quality. Um, you talked in your speech uh, about that you were having to look at, or you were looking again at the government's approach to air quality and it lowering emissions. Is there anything particularly you've got your eye on? Yes, you're well aware that uh, we're subject to infraction proceedings mm, yes. from the EU, so mm. we uh, take this very seriously. Mm. We were taking it very seriously mm. uh, before infraction. In fact, um, 17 countries in Europe are um, huh? exceeding uh, the limits. Right. Uh, I think we are a bit of a test case. Mm -hmm. um, what happened was that the test limits that were set for diesel engines in uh, the testing process right. didn't, as it turned out, um, reflect what happens in real oh, life. Right. Okay. So right. Um, people went on buying them yes. and uh, it transpired that they were much more polluting than the tests suggested. So we're working with the Commission on those tests. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also investing um, very substantial, I mean hundreds of um, millions of pounds in um, uh, ultra low emission vehicle mm -hmm. technology right. uh, to roll out so that in the areas where these are particularly problematic mm -hmm. um, issues uh, we can bear down on them. Would the targets be first of all trucks or would it, is it domestic cars as well? Is it everything that's diesel uh, fuel? Well in for example London as you know mm. where, where we have a, um, a low emission zone um, initially uh, the, the target is the much more heavily polluting vehicles, right. the larger the large vehicles. Lorries, yes, yeah, right. So I suspect that will and be it, a uh, how, What sort of time frame can you set yourself to try and get that sorted? We are working to uh, achieve um, compliance mm. as fast as we possibly can. Right, thanks so much. Thank you.